uh, if I want to copy the result from the previous inspection lot to the current one, this one configuration which is required and to copy the result from the inspection lot to uh, the existing uh, inspection lot while doing the result recording. The master data like the task list which we are using either it is an inspection plan or the material specification there you need to make some changes. Normally this uh, feature is used for the recurring inspection or the calibration or stability studies and all. But in other inspection types also you can use it. MM02 enter and this is the material quality management view of the plant B100 in the inspection setup. I have activated inspection type 01 and let me uncheck this preferred one for this. So I want to trigger a lot for 01. These are the default settings which are maintained. I want that once I enter the result for this inspection, in the next lot, it should copy the results. So let's see how it works in the system. So inspection type 01 is activated. Here the control key is also added for the supplier to be released and the certificate is required. And this certificate is required for it. Okay, save it. There is one configuration which is required. So let's do that configuration first. To go to the configuration, it is QCC0 enter. And in the quality inspection, result recording, here you can find this make settings for result copy and operation completion select this and since there is no entry at present let me create a new entry for this and i want to use it for inspection type 01 so i'm selecting that and the plant which i want to use is b100 in the control in the inspection lot i can select manual start of the data transfer. Even in the control of the result recording, I am selecting the scene, manual start for the data transfer. You click on this data origin in the task list. Here I can select 02, which is a previous inspection lot. And for the data origin in the result recording, again I am selecting previous inspection lot, which is 02. And in the selection procedure to be used, I can select 300 in this. And mapping procedure uh, which can be used is say 200, which is master inspection characteristics and method. Okay, so this is the data which I have maintained. I'm not maintaining extra things here. Save it. So since it's a configurational changes we are doing, uh, continue the pop-up will come for the transport request okay so we have done the configuration and we have seen the master data uh, let's go to the inspection plan for this material up02 enter my material is 51092 and the plant is b100 Okay, a uh, lot of plans are already present. Let me create a new one. I don't want to disturb this one. I can go to the creation mode of it. So my material is same and the plant is B100. Press enter key and I can click on new entry. Select say usage as 5 and the status is 4 for released. Press enter key 
and in the operation i can enter the control key cqm01 and some description select this go to the inspection characteristics here i can assign the mic uh, let's see the mics which are present select first color t okay press enter key and we can select the sampling procedure let's take this one enter and let's check the detail of this mic characteristics attribute sampling procedure summarized okay it is optional one let me break the link and i will make it and I will make it required characteristics instead of optional. So I have done required characteristics, continue and remaining controls are seen only. Okay. And the catalogs which is assigned to this is color. Let's see the details also for this. Uh, let's go back and let me assign one more MIC. Press entity and this size I can select. Press enter and again I can enter the sampling procedure. Let's take uh, this one. Enter and we can check the sampling procedure which is used for it. So it's without inspection point fixed manual valuation is selected and the sample size is 2. Okay, continue. Let's go back. And it's a summarized one. Let's go back. So we have assigned two MICs with the same sampling procedure in both the cases. Select this and go to the general data. And here you will find result data origin. So I'm selecting from the previous uh, inspection lot, which is 02, okay, in color. And let's go back. Even for the second MIC, I'm doing the same, okay. In the general data, I'm selecting the result data origin as uh, 02, which is a previous inspection lot, okay. Press enter key, uh, we can check 5 to 10 is the limit which is specified, let's save it. So we have created a new plan, group is 16 now we can create a zero one lot for that we need to create a purchase order so i can go to slash n me 21 n enter supplier is this header level data i can enter b001 Purchasing group is B01, BS24. My material is this. Quantity I can enter, say, 45. And press enter key. Check it once. All are warning, so we can save it. So once you save it, the purchase order number is generated and this is the number. Let me copy this and we can do the MIGO for the same. So slash in MIGO, enter. And go to receipt against the purchase order. This is my purchase order number. Press enter key. And in the material, we can select item key. Press enter key. Check it once. It's asking me to enter the manufacturing date since uh, it's a batch managed material. Okay. And then check it once again. The batch number is 484. And then we can post it. So once you post it, the lot will get triggered. We can check it in QA32 report for the lot. And this is the lot which is created and it is released. The quantity is 45. Just let me check. It has picked that same inspection plan which I have just now created. 
we have assigned two MICs, okay? So same MICs are there. Let's go back and we can do the result recording for the same lot. Go to the result recording and we can enter some values. I can enter say yellow in this, okay? And here I'm entering extreme values, okay? Five and 10 so that we can identify easily, okay? Enter and we are accepting it. Let me select all and then lock it. Status is fine now and then save it. We can refresh it, it's inspected. Now we can do the usage decision for the scene. We can select say accepted, go to the inspection lot stock and I'm moving the stock to the unrestricted and then save it. Uh, my lot number is 258. Refresh it so it is removed. Now I want the same results to be copied in my next lot. So let's see if I create another lot ME21N for the same. I am entering my vendor and the other details which are required like the purchasing organization. Material is this. Quantity I'm entering this time say 75 and press enter key. Can check once. Continue and then save it. So the number has been generated and this is the purchase order number which is created. Let's copy this and we can do the Mego for the same. Slash and Mego. Enter. And would receipt against the purchase order. This is the number, purchase order number. Click on item OK in the patch. I can enter the date of manufacturing as today's date. Check it once. Continue and then post it. We will get a lot in. We can check it in QA32 report. So this is the lot which is created and with the quantity 75, it is released. Go to the results and I want to copy the results from the previous inspection lot which we have just now created and done the UD for it. So we will go to edit, copy inspection result and here I can enter the lot number or you can search the lot number Based on suppose if I enter my material and my plant is B100, enter. So just now which we have done is 258. Select this, click on continue. Select the lot, continue. Now you can see it has copied the value yellow. And even the results are copied. I have entered the extreme values 5 and 10. Both are entered here. We can select both and then lock it. Continue. And then save it. Now if I refresh it, it is inspected and we can do the usage decision for the same. And I can enter say again accepted in this case. Moving my stock to the unrestricted and then save it. So this is how you can copy the results. The QA32 report, if I select all the inspection lot because we have done the UD where we have copied the result from the previous inspection lot. Let me select this and if I go to the display mode of the results, then these are the two MICs where we have copied the results. If I go to extras and then if I select transfer log, it will show me the uh, full log like inspection lot was created and the MICs where the data transfer was done and it was successful. The second MIC. Again, 
the data has been transferred. So you can check the log here. Let me drag this down. If you get any issue, it will it present everything is green. So you can check the log from here. 